Yeah, tricky slide. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, Tricker has been on antibiotics for quite a while now for her cellulitis and obviously damage. So she is still on antibiotics, but we've been told we can do a little bit of work with her just to help keep her going. And as you can see, she is very fresh this morning. So we're going to take her down, do a tiny bit of lunging with her, take her up, and then I've got to bring Dixie down to reassess Dixie. And then, yeah, I'll pull her on, I might do tomorrow when her rope head collar comes. But not looking too bad for a 25 year old. Was oh, she? Come on then. Oi, beluga. Good girl. Yes, you have to listen now. Yeah, doing her today. Oh, you're such a lazy sod, you are. Come on. This is going to make me laugh, but with Tricker, it doesn't matter if you carry a whip. If you don't carry a whip for lunging her, all she wants to do is trot around and play, basically. Trix doesn't do walking on the lunge line unless you've got two lunge lines on her. And technically, she was only meant to be going for a very small leg stretch. But... She's not stupid at all. She is incredibly intelligent, but she also knows how to push my buttons when I actually want something out of her to do nicely. Now, I will push her out a little bit. Now will you focus, please? Right. Now you're thinking, can we focus on our job? <laughs> Now we've got her back, which is nice, she's settling. So using the pole helps, she's a bigger horse, and she also knows how strong she is, but she can tank off with me if she wants to. Come on, you're okay. 
so with all my girls I do a little bit of just exercise uh, walking around and playing with them to end any session just to like make it fun for them otherwise being in the school can be quite boring right next pony pony number two and she's only doing poles today tomorrow we're increasing to raise trot poles but for today she's only doing poles obviously Dixie's coming back into work we had Jo out a few weeks ago who gave her a treatment come on you and um, obviously she was incredibly tight if you'd seen that vlog if not don't worry it'll be linked at the end but Madam's only coming down to do some see what she's like with poles today um, and obviously as you can see she's a very very good girl she just waits for me good girly so she's been coming back into work obviously this is day two no it's not it's day one sorry why have we got day two on the brain it's because we're going swimming tonight um day one of her basically full work full week work full weeks worth of work so every single day she'll be trained the only day she gets off is the weekend all right let's crack on get her done because I still need to bring the third one down and do some work with her after she booted Adam so I need to do some work with Apollo as well Come on. Good girl. Good girl, well done. Girl. Okay, so I've taken Dixie off and you can see there's poles up there, poles here. Same as I didn't do obviously with tricks, but with Dixie, because I trust her maybe a little bit too much, we're just going to walk over the poles without any pressure.
taxi done. Not long for her. Tomorrow will be a little bit longer. The way we did it was just to, so she had no pressure. Obviously help guiding her, had the head collar hold a little bit, but there's no pressure off from the lead rope. There's no pressure on her. It's just to see if she will walk. Tomorrow we're introducing a little bit of raised drop poles and we'll see how she goes with that. Obviously, don't want to overwork her and don't want to over push her. But now we need to start really rebuilding her over winter, ready for winter showground. And that's what we're going to do because you are going out on the show circuit next year. That is the a goal to where Dixie is going is on the main show circuit. Whether it's in hand or ridden, as long as she's happy. Right, number three now. Apollo's turn. And yes, I'm wearing a hat. She booted Adam the other day. I'm not taking any risks with her anymore. So, yeah, we're going to see what she's like today. Yes, you can sniff. Girl, right, that's enough for her today. Right, as the horse is out after being worked, Good girls. There's the old one. Where? Oh, she's up there. Behind the stables. Right, that's the horses out after being worked. Obviously, they have tomorrow off now because we're poo picking tomorrow and obviously mucking out. So they have tomorrow off. Then back in to be worked. And obviously, then we will start retraining all over again. But introducing Dixie into raised drop poles, I think Trucker, we're just going to rebuild very, very slowly. Um, obviously, because she's had that injury to her back leg and she's had that injury with cellulitis and everything else. Obviously, Angel's up here anyway, but they're not doing long in the school at all. 
Dad's doing water buckets because Hazel's asleep in the back of the car. That was full blast, Dad. Oh. So yes, we will um, reassess Tricker again. Just putting the wheelbarrow in Trix's stable, ready for the morning. <sighs> They've been out. Oh, I was dad doing the post by what it was. But yeah, we will reassess Trix again when she comes in. But as you see, she was quite happily jumping around. Alright, grab the dog. Then take Hazel home, dig out my cupboard, because I'm selling a few things, which will be on my Equi app. And <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> Wasn't just me. It was your horse as well. Wasn't just my two. Oh, look, Angel's coming now. Um, but yeah, we'll see how they get on anyway. Look out for the vlog of reintroducing Dixie into pole work. Um, and I'll catch you all very, very soon. Oh, right, signing out for now. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and obviously the all-important bell to get all our notifications up. And as soon as we know what we're doing, <coughs> you guys will know. Right, see you all later.